Hey guys, it's MJ, the student at Tree, and tonight we're going to be looking at uh, level annuities. This is chapter 6 of subject CT1. And as you can see here, we have two types of annuities. Um, well, when I mean two types, two time uh, zoned annuities. We have annuities that are discounted, and we have annuities that are accumulated. Uh, remember I did in the previous chapter, it was all about discounting and accumulation. Well, the discounting evolves or goes into the pink um, annuities and the accumulation goes into the purple annuities. And this diagram kind of just shows you what's happening here. So the gray line represents a timeline and we have payments, a payment stream of one at certain intervals. The annuity, the discounted annuity at the present value over here means we take the first annuity and we discount it just a little bit. Then the second one we discount it by a little bit more, third one we discount it by a little bit more, 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 and then we add all those values up. So this value here with regards to time will be just less than one, this value here will be even more less than one and so forth. Compare that to with the accumulation um, annuity, and it's a little bit different. Here, this value will increase uh, a little bit more than one. This one will increase a little bit more, but this guy here is going to increase the most because he's got interest is applying to him for the longest period. And then we add these all together. So, if the interest rate was zero, um, then the pink and the purple would equal. But when you have a positive interest rate, which is normally the case, your purple value is going to be much bigger than just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be bigger than 5. And if there's 5 payment streams and your discounted annuity will be less than 5, it will be like around 4.3 and this one will be like 5.9 depending on the interest rate. Um, then what you can do is you can get your annuities in advance. This means... Um, in this case here, without the, the tremor at the top, that's just an annuity due. But if it's an in advance, it means that um, an annuity in advance means the first payment is received as you begin. So this makes a lot of sense when you take out insurance. Um, as you sign up on insurance, you make the first payment. So payment starts right there. So it would be one plus this one with a little bit of interest type of thing like that. And a very easy way to transform this um, annuity into an annuity in advance is with these various relationships. And it's quite nice to think them through. Um, don't just learn the formulas. Think why does this make that? And it's actually quite a nice exercise to do for yourself um, is to, yeah, to understand. Because if I had to talk about it, I'd, I'd talk for 20 minutes. Uh, it's quite interesting, this stuff. Um, then you can also get an annuity uh, continuous. So let's say, remember we also looked in the previous uh, chapter about a continuous payment stream. If that's the case, then we have the bar um, above the annuity. And what you then have is you use this relationship to transform it. If your annuity is pay, has got a continuous pay, or a payment stream forever, then it's known as a perpetuity and it's that symbol there. And that's also, think about this relationship. Um, that's what was great about my lecturer, is that he always used to give us these seemingly absurd exercises to do. That I was like, this has got nothing to do with actuarial science. But what he was doing was he was making us figure out these relationships and think them through and understand them. Because once you get a good understanding of how, you know, the interest rate and the discount and everything's interlinked, you get a much better appreciation of the subject and you'll be much quicker at solving these questions. Um, one part of the subject that I did struggle with was when the payments are made not yearly but let's say every month or every quarter or something like that and it always tricked me because a quarter was 3 over 12 because you've got 3, 6, 9, 12 you know and the 3 and a quarter is like a 4 so I used to get a little bit confused with that. Um, but, I mean, the, the formula to get it into that, it's, you know, you just, you either adjust the, the payment or you adjust the interest, uh, effective interest rate. But again, this, this is tricky. This is how they make the question hard. 
you just need to read it, um, you need to try to get your head around it. I, I did struggle with it, so I don't think I'm too qualified to, to give a talk exactly on it. So I'm just raising the alarm saying, look out for this, this part is a little bit tricky. Um, I also remember, because I did this subject in first year, and I remember seeing this, this thing over here and being like, what on earth is going on? And so these annuities, um, I mean, I look at them now and they're very easy. They're like second nature to me because I've done so many of them. I've been doing this for like almost, what, six, six, six years now. So it comes very naturally to me. But I, I know, well, I remember from the first time I saw it, it was very intimidating. So if you're watching this video and you're a first time actuary student, you know, you're just testing it out and this is your first subject that you're writing, don't worry if you don't understand this straight away. Do pass papers um, or even just do the exercises in the combined material pack to boost your confidence. Um, and you know, start with the easy questions first and you know, just build your confidence. This is hard um, the first time you look at it. And yeah, you know, I remember the first, even now I get a little bit confused with this. But let me not scare you too much. It is manageable. Um, and yeah, you know, it's very important for later on in the course. So a lot of the course builds on these functions here so understand them do not move on until you understand this very well if you want me to do another video just maybe I'm not doing past papers or something on this stuff let me know and if I get the time I'll try and make it for you guys but yeah that is chapter six uh, level annuities and you'll see they start getting interesting because we can start increasing them in chapter seven but I'll talk about that stuff um, next time Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.